welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, if you're new and you like this kind of content, give it a like and subscribe. And if you're not, thank you so much for tuning back in with me this week. So about a couple of weeks ago, I filmed a try-on haul kind of review video for Aritzia, uh, but I made it specifically for short girls. And what that means is I tried on the clothes and then I posted a picture of what the model looks like with the pant or skirt on. But just to show you guys a comparison of what it looks like on a 5'10", 5'11 model and what it looks like on a 5'3 gal, such as me. And I got a lot of wonderful feedback and that's when I realized that I'm not the only person who struggles with this issue. Issue. Um, all these websites that I know of are using 510, 511 models and they're gorgeous and that's great. But it's really hard for us to kind of pinpoint and use that picture to judge what it would look like on us. So I decided I'm going to turn this short girl edition into a series um, and today we're going to be filming Urban Outfitters. I have Zara on the way. I already bought a bunch of their stuff but it's currently being shipped so in about two, three weeks, I should have that video up as well. So I do hope this video finds you well and that, you know, it does help you in some way. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay. So as you guys can see, I really do have a lot, a lot of stuff to show you guys. Um, I've got a nice silk slip dress. I've got shorts. I've got a skirt. And I, most importantly, I've got jeans. Okay, so I think that's so, so important. And my favorite, favorite denim brand right now is BDG, which is home to Urban. The jeans are all BDG. So uh, we're going to do this exact same way we did it for the last video. I'm going to try it out and we're going to compare with the model and just see what happens. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you guys are the BDG Boyfriend High Waisted Jean Distressed Light Wash. Okay? Uh, so right off the bat, looking at this picture, it's very clear that it is way longer on me than it is the model. Hers and quite a few inches above her ankles, and mine go past my ankles. That's not a surprise, okay? I knew this was going to happen when I was buying it. Uh, however, I do have another complaint. So the issue with these is that they're way too big. Admittedly, I bought these in a 26, and that's usually not my size. So that's technically my fault. However, my issue is that their sizing is not consistent because I actually have another pair of jeans from them, also in a size 26, and those fit really well. So I end up having to wear my jeans like this. And this is kind of the final look that you get. Uh, it is very kind of, I guess you could say, retro-ish um, mom dad jeans. So that definitely works. They are really baggy, so I still really love them. I'll show you the back. You've got like these little fake pockets. It's just a color print. So I do rate these jeans pretty high. It's a good quality content. Uh, yes, they don't look exactly um, the way it looks on the model, but it's okay. I knew that was going to happen. She's 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 I'm not, so... We make do with what we have, right? Okay, so the next pair of jeans I want to show you are the BDG Low Rise Slim Straight Jean Raw Hem Light Wash. Okay, so, so I just kind of like lifted this up just to show you that these are not high-waisted. They are low rise. Okay, so this one, I'm going to have to be honest, looks pretty similar to the model. Hers and a bit above her ankles and so do mine. So I definitely rate these 10 on 10 for the sizing on me versus the model. My only complaint is these are the ones I was telling you about before. These fit me well and these are 26. Yet those jeans were extremely large on me. So I don't like it when a brand doesn't even have consistency within their own collection. I find it makes it very hard to order BDG jeans because it's like in my 25 or 26. I'm not going to know. So that's kind of my complaint for those two jeans is that there isn't even consistency amongst themselves. So really quickly, you guys can see they do end above my ankle. They've got a cute little fray line as um, you know suggested in the description. Um, you can, I'll do a little turn around. This is what the fit looks like, really cute. Only rate 10 on 10. They're not even the petite size, yet they fit miraculously. So I'm very happy. The next pair of jeans I want to show you guys are these. Um, unfortunately, I actually bought these in store and not online, so I don't know what they're called, and I don't have a picture 
to show you guys of what the model looks like. But what I can tell you is I absolutely love these jeans. Um, they kind of have like a bell button cut and they're a little longer. I don't know if you can see, yeah, so they're a little longer than my normal jeans. What's really great about that is that it really accentuates and lengthens your legs, which for the itty bitty girls watching this, it's amazing, right? Because it really makes you look taller. Uh, I really like to pair these with like a little booty something with a little bit of heel to make me look even taller so I really like these I don't have much to say right because I don't have the picture the model unfortunately but I do really like these they're super comfortable to move in I'll do a quick little spin for you guys only issue once again is that these are size 25 right and they fit me perfectly which once again is confusing to me urban if you're watching this BDG, you know, if you're watching this, please figure that out. Okay, so we are done with jeans. And the next thing I want to show you is this skirt over here. It's probably one of my older pieces, so I'm going to have to really dig for that picture of the model. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to find it. And this is what it looks like. I think it's the perfect length. I'll show you. For summer, you know, for skirts and all that. Uh, and what I really love about it is that it's a buckle, so it kind of gives you the illusion that it's belted. But it's actually a zipper. <laughs> and it makes it uh, makes taking it on and off a lot easier. So that's why I do really love it. It's a really good fabric, okay? It's like really thick, and I have absolutely no complaints. Um, the only thing, once again, I can mention is just the sizing. Like, I don't get it. Every other store assistant small, but at Urban, this one here is a medium. Now, although I have space here, I don't think I could fit into a small. So this is just something that I kind of question. I still don't really get how they do their sizing, but but that's pretty much it. I don't have much to say. The skirt fits well. It's the perfect length. I wear this every chance I get. So. I really like it. Hey, uh, guys, I'm not even sure what to say about these. Um, see the tag and everything still on? Because I haven't even worn them yet. Something about this fit really makes me uncomfortable. This loose fabric area, like, like bulky here, which I already hate, and it's like very loose, which I guess is a good thing, but a little kind of too large. I bought this because it's Urban Renewal and I think that's so great for the environment, you know, taking apart old items and refabricating them into new designs and just reusing fabric. I think that's great. I think that's a wonderful way to be sustainable within a brand. So that's absolutely amazing. And I want to be able to support that. It's just, I, I, I don't know what's going on here. Like, they're definitely comfortable, don't get me wrong, and huge pockets, but something just doesn't sit right. And the thing with Urban Renewal is they're not very specific in size, so it's either small slash medium or like large slash extra large. So I got these in a small slash medium, but they're still a little big. It's an elastic band, so it'll like, it won't fall off of you, but yeah. So I'll show you still kind of like what it looks like. Oh guys, don't even get me started on these. I don't even know what's going on. Um, these are also Urban Renewal. But why is it just so unflattering? When I bought these, I also thought they were going to be baggy. Okay, they do look baggy on the model. But on me, they're tight and I'm just like, not sure what's going on. Like my thigh is suffocating and like, is in my body? I don't know. I don't like these fit at all. And I have never worn them out. The tag is still on. It's just awkward and tight and I don't I don't I like I don't like them. They're also Urban Renewal. I'm very disappointed that I don't that I'm not like in love with their stuff because I really wanted to love Urban Renewal. The concept is great. Uh, I just, I don't know what's going on. But without further ado, let's get into my most excited piece. It's my slip dress. So let's do that.
Okay, so the next thing that I want to show you guys is my favorite thing ever. It's called the Urban Outfitter Mallory Calneck Slip Dress. In this like baby blue color, which I'm in love with, it's the perfect line. I literally have no complaint. As you can tell, it's almost the same length on me and fit as it is the model. So I'm very happy. This was a very similar comparison in my opinion. It's a zipper in the back. Okay, uh, and it just hugs you in my opinion in all the right places. It's not too tight, but it's also not like an A-line. You know some of the slip dresses that literally just go down? I prefer these over that any day. The straps are adjustable so you can decide if you want something kind of low cut, more cow neck, or if you want to like pull it up and it kind of almost be a straight line. So that's something that is definitely up to you to decide. Um, the material at the top here is double lined, so that's also really good and it's good quality. So I really have nothing bad to say about this. So this dress is actually on sale right now. Not this particular color, but this line of satin slip dress is. So if you guys like the look, go and get yours on sale. Okay, so uh, that pretty much concludes the try on video for today. I hope it was helpful in any which way. Um, like I had mentioned, my Zara shipment is on its way, so I should be able to get the video out in two to three weeks' time. And I hope you guys continue to enjoy these short girl editions and that they help you in some sort of way to figure out your sizing. Although, I, as I mentioned, BDG isn't perfect in their size consistency, I still really recommend it because the price and the quality. It's not overly expensive, and the quality is, in my opinion, still really stand out. I hope me trying them on could give you a better idea of what they look like on someone of 5'3". And on that note, I think that kind of concludes my video. Uh, if you guys have any questions as well, just drop it in the comments. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the second episode of the Short Girls Edition. And if you like this content, give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye.